the Yankees' first game in four months played out similarly to a typical bout between the Bombers and the Red Sox. New York jumped ahead early, fell behind in the middle innings, then mounted a valiant but unsuccessful comeback. Easy come easy go, I guess. The final score saw the Red Sox go over the Yankees, 8-5. You can read the full box score here, but since it's spring training, we're going to cover three talking points. 1. Of course the first batted ball the Yankees had to field went right to Miguel Andujar. Baseball is funny like that. He successfully made the out but still double clutched the ball before firing to first. I held my breath as he did that because I was afraid he would throw the ball away. Earlier this week Andujar told reporters he had no plans to change that part of his throwing approach. For those who have asked about Miguel Andujar double-tapping the ball before he throws, he said it isn't something he plans to change Brian Hoke at Brian Hodge February 20, 2019 the third baseman played three innings in the game, and he had a go of it on the field. He let a pair of balls go by him while diving. He didn't have a chance on another ground ball struck down the third baseline, but defensive positioning likely had something to do with that. One game isn't enough of a sample to render a verdict on Andujar's defense. The adjustments he made, however, didn't appear noticeable this afternoon. He looked more or less like the Andujar of 2018. 2. In the game thread, I talked about how the Yankees traveled lightly to Fort Myers. They went with a skeleton crew of regulars. Here's the exact passage, as for the position, players, four big names find themselves in action. Aaron Hicks, Glaber Torres, Miguel Andujar, and Clint Frazier anchor the lineup. A stud center fielder, two Rookie of the Year finalists, and former top prospect. That's not bad for the first spring training game. I legitimately forgot about Greg Bird. I saw Mike Ford in the starting lineup and assumed he was playing first base. Bird apparently didn't appreciate the oversight. The 26-year-old went 2-for-2 two two with a double. He straight up rakes in February. All winter long Aaron Boone explained that Luke Boyd had the inside lane to the first base job. The Yankees manager hedged today, however, explaining that Bird does a better job with defense. If Bird wants to capitalize on that advantage, he will have to continue to hit like he did today. 3. How about Nestor Cortez Jr.? The left-hander pitched 2.2 innings, allowing 4 runs on 6 hits. That doesn't look good, but do you know what looks great? His breaking ball. In spring training, the results are secondary. The quality of the stuff matters far more. For Cortez Jr., he has a breaking pitch that can play at the major league level. While the bullpen looks crowded right now, the Yankees will assuredly call up a number of arms this summer. There always exists a revolving door bullpen arm. If he keeps splashing that quality stuff, expect Cortez Jr. to get a call at some point. Highlight of the game Glaber Torres took Josh Smith deep in the first inning. He hit one out dead to center field. The Yankees are back in action tomorrow afternoon when they take on the Rays. First pitch is scheduled for 1.05 p.m., and you can stream on MLB.tv or listen on WFAN.